Greetings, Gamer Actor Nation. I'm Maunus, and I'm here at a PlayStation Pro-themed event in London held by Sony, and we've just taken a look at Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and I'm here with Arnie Meyer, Director of Communications at Naughty Dog. Thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you. So let me start off by saying um, Uncharted 4 released uh, earlier this year to massive critical acclaim, and now you sort of have the chance with the PlayStation 4 Pro version of the game, or the patch, to give the game a new lease of life. How does that feel? Uh, it feels really great. Um, it's one of those things where uh, when we first got the specs for the PS4 Pro and we were able to start developing for it, we were able to see what we could do with the game. Uh, we got really excited because for us, at the end of the day, what we want to do is uh, we want to create this incredible sense of immersion and having all of the detail in the image that you see on the screen is one of those ways that we try to really immerse you into the games and having the PS4 Pro really achieves that. So, how's it been like developing for the PS4 Pro? Because you, your studio, that like Naughty Dog, is at sort of the forefront of creating uh, visually uh, immersive experiences on in the PlayStation family. So, what's it been like having this new piece of hardware to toy with? Well. Uh, I think PlayStation has done a really great job this generation with providing hardware and tools that are very easy to program for. Um, they're very developer friendly and we found that with the same thing with the PS4 Pro. So once we got it, we just took our time to investigate to see what was possible with the hardware. Uh, and then there was just a few of us that took a few months to sort of take a look at um, what, what we could tweak, what sort of settings we could tweak to really uh, improve the visuals for the game. So you, um, you speak about uh, tweaking. Um, what specifically have you done with the PS4 Pro version? Because you can throw out a lot of buzzwords like 4K HDR, as we saw also at the, the presentation. But what specifically has gone into making this look that much better on the PS4 Pro? Well, we really benefited from the fact that uh, all of all of our assets were already really high resolution within the game. Uh, they just weren't able to be displayed that way. So the increase in resolution is a huge uh, step up for us. It, it really brings out a lot of the detail uh, in everything that you're seeing on screen visually. Um, and HDR2 really for us goes a long way. It's something that is already some that is already part of the rendering pipeline for our game, the, for our engine. Um, but now we're actually able to display it on screen. So again, it's like all of these things are just bringing out a lot of those subtle details that make our game world that more believable, that more grounded in reality, and increase that level of immersion. So um, there seems to be two very distinct theories in the development community of right now as to what it's like developing these two SKUs or separate versions. Now, of course, Uncharted has already released, so has The Last of Us Remastered. So for you, it was just about creating the patch. Um, but do you th there seem to be like these two distinct theories. One says that it's kind of like developing for PC, that you can just tweak your uh, sort of the graphical settings ever so slightly. And the other theory is is like that this is two, creating like two very distinct separate games, and it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of resources. What's your uh, thoughts on this? Uh, well, it's interesting. Once we get to the point where we're developing for a game that already takes into account PS4 Pro, I think we'll take a look at uh, how it affects us and how it affects our development pipeline. I mean, I think initially when we've looked at it, uh, for us, it's, it's as I said before, it's all of our assets, uh, all the things that we're doing uh, already to render a game for the PS4 Pro, all that information's already there. So it doesn't change our pipeline distinctly. Uh, I think it's once we get to uh, putting it in practice from the ground up, we'll see how it may alter um, what we're doing. So with the PS4 Pro version of the game, you have sort of given one last chance to work with Nathan Drake one last time. What's it been like for the studio to say goodbye to this very iconic character? Uh, well, you played the game, but hopefully and maybe everyone else has played the game too. But I think uh, for us, you know, once you got towards the end of the game and the narrative we were saying, uh, it felt really right. And it, uh, I, I think we sort of left it on, uh, on a really good point. That doesn't mean that we don't have a fond place for it, and it's always fun for us to uh, go back and play our game, or you know, to find new ways to do it. But I think, uh, you know, I think Nathan Drake's in a good spot. I think so as well. Um, here, uh, finally, can you perhaps uh, elaborate, share some details on what uh, the studio is working on next? Are you guys finally taking some time off after all the crunch, or are you going on to the next thing already? Well, uh, some people took some time off after we released Uncharted 4. Um, it was a long development cycle for us, and I think a lot of people really deserved some of the time off. Uh, but the multiplayer team has been cranking away on up, uh, constant updates for that uh, mode. Uh, I think they, they announced a roadmap for content uh, up until early next year. 
Um, we had started to try to figure out what we are going to do for our single player DLC. Uh, we announced that uh, pre-launch that we are going to work on that. So we've actually finally started working on that and figuring it out. So hopefully we'll be able to announce that soon and sort of give some more details on, uh, on what they're doing. So we're basically back at work. So thank you so much for uh, talking to us. And uh, please stay tuned for more PlayStation Pro-themed content coming over the coming days. And of course, a lot more on Uncharted 4. Thank you.